Okay, in this video we're going to look at an absolute value equation. Now there's two methods that we're going to use to do this, so I'll show you the first method um, and then do exactly the same question with the second method. First thing that I do, the easiest way to do it, is take the opposite of the plus 3, make sure you do that, and then draw an arrow from 5 coming down to this, and what we're looking for is what numbers are 5 away from negative 3. So I go to my number line, and uh, there's 0, there's negative 4, negative 8, and there's positive 4. Okay, negative 3. Now what I do is I put a dot over negative 3. And then I put two arrows there, and I go five up in this direction. And that's going to take me to two. And I go five in that direction, and that's going to take me to negative eight. Okay, and I put open circles around those to begin with. Now, if the question was which numbers are exactly 5 away from negative 3, those would be my two answers, 2 and negative 8. Okay. This less than sign you can read as which numbers are closer than 5 away. Well, the numbers that are closer than 5 away are these numbers in between, all the way through here. These are all closer than 5 away from negative 3. Okay, so now you can read off your answer. Anything between negative 8 and positive 2 will work. And the way we write in between is you put a negative 8 there, and you put a positive 2 there, and you put the x in the middle, and then you put less than signs. Always less than signs. Always make the smallest one on the left. And that's how we write in between. Okay, so this is the answer that they're looking for. Which numbers put into the original equation will make it true? And any number between negative 8 and positive 2 will make that original equation true. Now, method 2, what we're going to do, use here is go from the actual definition of absolute value. And the actual de absolute value definition says the absolute value of x is x or the opposite of x. Okay. It's equal to x if it is a positive number, and it equals the opposite of x if it is a negative number. Now we're going to find that this sometimes is a useful way to look at these questions. But read that in your mind as the word opposite. So if x is negative, the opposite of x is obviously positive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the left-hand side and say either x plus 3 is less than 5 or the opposite of x plus 3 is less than 5. And that gives me two little equations to work out. Here, take the 3 to the other side, and I'd add that x less than 5 minus 3, or x less than 2. Okay. Here, the negative sign is going to be negative x minus 3 is less than 5. Take the negative 3 to the other side, and it becomes positive 3. So negative x is less than 8, but we'd like to get rid of that negative sign. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. And because I've multiplied both sides by a negative, I've got to switch that sign around. Negative 1 times negative x is x, and 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. So the final answer 
is x must be greater than negative 8, okay, and at the same time less than 2, okay. So x is greater than negative 8, that's read that way, and x is less than 2 is read that way, okay. So that comes down to there, and this gets sort of reversed there, and lo and between, uh, lo and behold, we've got uh, between there. Okay, we have the same answers for both.